In this video, we will discuss about different fluid properties such as density, specific weight, specific volume, specific gravity, viscosity or dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity. The density or also known as mass density of a fluid defined as the ratio of mass of fluid in kilogram to its volume in cubic meter. The density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube and the density of air is 1.225 kg per meter cube. Specific weight or also known as weight density of a fluid is the weight possessed by the unit volume of a fluid. Specific weight is dependent on acceleration due to gravity. Because weight of fluid is mass into acceleration due to gravity and we have already discussed that density of fluid equal to mass upon volume. Therefore, specific weight of fluid will be density into acceleration due to gravity that is rho into small g where density of water equal to 1000 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. And we know that from Newton's second law of motion, force equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity. Here force is in Newton, mass in kg and acceleration is in meter per second square. Therefore, specific weight of water will be 1910 Newton per meter cube. Now the next term is specific volume of fluid which is reciprocal of density. It can be expressed as the volume that a fluid occupies per unit mass and the unit will be meter cube per kilogram. The next term is specific gravity or also known as relative density which is defined as the ratio of density of a fluid to the density of an ideal fluid where ideal fluid for liquids is considered as water and ideal fluid for gases is considered as air or also specific gravity is the ratio of specific weight of fluid to the specific weight of an ideal fluid. The next term is viscosity which is defined as the property of fluid which offers resistance to movement of one layer over the another adjacent layer and viscosity is represented by the Greek letter mu. To understand viscosity, let us consider two layers of fluid A, B and C, D flowing one over the other at a distance dy having velocities small u and small u plus du respectively. The top layer C, D causes shear stress on lower layer A, B and lower layer causes shear stress on upper layer. This tangential shear stress is proportional to velocity gradient that is du by dy in the direction perpendicular to fluid layer. Therefore, shear stress equal to mu into du by dy, where mu is constant of proportionality called as coefficient of viscosity or viscosity and viscosity also known as dynamic viscosity or absolute viscosity. And the unit of viscosity is Newton second per meter square. The next term is kinematic viscosity which is defined as the ratio of dynamic viscosity to its density. The unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second.